Okay, we'll start with this very simple patriotic pattern on an 8x8 canvas. I don't need to draw a whole grid at this point. I'll show you later what a grid is. This one I start out by actually dividing into four parts. So I'm going to measure four inches out this way, four inches down this way, and then square them off. This is where the star goes. Um, I'll tell you a secret. I'm not really good at drawing stars, so I drew a whole bunch of practice ones, and then the one I liked best, I cut it out. So I'm going to use that as a stencil on there. I'll, I'll just draw around it and then paint it later. Okay, so what we'll do next, I'm going to draw a line, a diagonal, from this corner to this corner. When you do a line, like off the edge, Remember that the pencil mark takes up a little bit of room, so leave a little bit of space at the corner um, so that it will hit the exact corner and not be over on one side or the other. So I'm going to draw that diagonal through here. And then I'm going to measure, this particular one is 0.9 of an inch, which is about the, the width of the tape we're going to use, but I'm going to go 0.9. Use this over here. Okay, so I've got that measured. I'm not going to draw the whole thing here. I have one that's drawn out, so I'll show you one that's a little more advanced there. You can measure again to make sure that's straight line, or you can just kind of eyeball it. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Okay, at this point I'll show you the one that um, I started earlier. I have the stripes started this way, this way, this way, and I just will continue doing them all the way down and then trace the star up here. So that's basically the point we're going to be at when we start to paint. So now I'm going to tape. What I do by taping is color up the areas I don't want the paint to cover so I can do a lot easier. Some our uh, barn quilters actually don't use tape at all. They do everything freehand, but 99% um, of them actually use tape. So I'll be starting with white. So what I'm going to do is cover up the spaces that are going to be red so they don't get white paint on them. What I'm going to do where the line goes over, I'm going to use one of these razors. I'm going to hold it right along the edge where the line is. Pull it, whoops, it didn't come out too well. Pull it off. Should have made it longer because you get a better grip, it comes off more easy. Okay. When we're taping, you want to leave a little bit of the line showing. Uh, 
that way when you paint the other part you paint this and you paint this there won't be like a real thin white line in between so you want to like be just below the line there and you'll see that as i paint you'll understand how that works but just leave a little bit of a line showing Probably leave more of this showing that way I can pull it up a little bit easier. Comes off easier if you have more of a tail left on to pull. A star I'm going to do freehand. I'm just going to paint around it in blue and then paint freehand um, the star. Unless you make a stencil out of uh, harder material and you can paint around the stencil, they recommend that you use plastic if you're doing that rather than paper because that way the paint won't get under it. But I'm just going to freehand that part. Okay, now I'm ready for the first coat of paint. I took my eraser and tried to uh, take off some of the the dirt and marks that I got on there. Um, this is a um, magic eraser that I dampen and I find it uses, works, it works better on wood than it does on this canvas, but that's the one that I have here. Okay, I'm using my exterior paint on this, even though it's interior, um, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, this is a lot more expensive, but if you're gonna be making quilts for exterior use, I would go ahead and invest in the exterior paint. Now in the school course, all the paint will be provided. I'm going to start with a brush here. I'm going to go ahead and paint in some of the star. It will be kind of messy, but when I come with the blue, I can make the corrections. Now this one, I didn't prime. I should have just primed it and then drawn the design on, but um, this is just kind of a sample to show you what the steps are, so I didn't bother to do that. See how easy it is when you've got the tape on there? You don't have to worry about it running over. This exterior primer takes quite a while to dry. It takes a couple of hours. Some of the uh, other layers that you'll be doing probably will, won't have the primer in it, and I think they tend to dry a little bit faster. But doing a barn quilt is a project that, that very rarely do you do in one day because of the drying time you usually put three coats of paint on the design side uh, after putting two coats of primer on both the front and the back. So as you can see, there's lots of dead time when you're waiting for things to dry. They say to paint away from the tape rather than to force your, like force your way under it. That way you'll have least less leakage into the inside. I like these little foam brushes. Some people just use regular brushes. If I'm doing my priming, as I will show you in the next segment, I use a large brush to cover a big board. But for this, I kind of like these. They don't leave brush marks and they're kind of cool. Now um, I'm gonna take this and I'll squeeze a little bit of the paint out of it. I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and it will be just fine when I come back to it these last for, oh, I've kept them in there for several weeks at times. And that way you don't have to rinse them out. Uh, every time if you're gonna be using the same color, you just pull it out and start all over again. So this now will need to dry, so we'll have to stop here. Okay, now we're at the point where we're going to tape the first painting. I use frog tape. It comes in different colors, but most people seem to use yellow for some reason. It also comes in different widths. This is, I think, the thinnest width, which I most commonly use. So what I'm going to do is tape off the white parts because I'm going to paint the red parts. So I noted on there with a little initial WR, WR, so I would keep track of which ones. And if you have several different colors, it's best to mark all of them off because if you're working over a large area, it's really easy to get confused when you're taping. And I've done many times tape the wrong color and go back and do it over again. That's no fun. So I'm going to do this first long one. Okay, now we are painting the red stripes. Mm 
you can tell as it goes on that it is going to require another coat or two because it comes on very thin and eventually it builds up as you add paint. That's it. This coat will need to dry. Then we'll come back and do the blue. Okay, I'm back with our patriotic um, 8x8. I've done the red and the white and now I'm going to do the blue and then touch it up. As you can see, there's lots of little places that need to be touched up on this one. So I'm going to take my blue This will also need three coats. I'm not going to do all three on camera. These little foam brushes are nice because they have a, a flat edge, which is easy if you're trying to fill in lines. You can kind of clean up as you go along if you know you've made a boo-boo. Otherwise, you'll paint over it in the, in the touch-up. I could have taped this off, but um, I did my first one freehand, and so I thought I would go ahead and try it again on this one. But if you want it to be perfect, you can tape off the star before you paint it. Okay, while that dries, I'm going to start touching up the rest of it. And for that, I have a little teeny, teeny brush. Uh, it's from my oil painting collection, and I find it the best thing to work with for those little areas that would easily be messed up. So I'll start, uh, let's see, I'll start up here. I may have to go back with the red after I do the white also. Move this closer here. There's some lines that show on there. I'll try and cover those up with a little white there. Let's see. I'm trying to get at it without I, got, I already got paint on my board. Okay. You can also put tape back on if you have a lot of things along a line that need to be cleaned up. You can go ahead and, and retape it and do the touch up that way. But this one I'm just doing the old fashioned way. Go back in with the red where I got the white over it. Okay, that's not perfect by any means, and if I were going to do this to, as something to keep or give out, I would probably spend a little more time on it, but from a distance it doesn't, doesn't look all that bad. So that's basically the process of taping, painting, uh, and touching up. So there you have it with the Patriotic Star. <laughs>